They get into the practical work, they're encouraged by all the help and you, you can clearly see that what they've done this evening, they know exactly what they're doing. You know, there's a few technical problems as always with the equipment, but once they're actually doing the work, they've got onto it really well, so very good. It's going well. The kids seem to be really enthusiastic and uh, they're, they're certainly doing it very easily and we're getting some good results, so it's going well. So are you doing your rough one at the moment? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. I'm, I'm very busy actually, really running around trying to keep, you know, with a class of 22 it's actually quite a lot of work involved, so. Yeah. That's great, those are perfect results. Look at those, spot on. Now it's time to collect the results. How they discovered which of the samples C, D or E matches the sample B taken from the dead body. Expert titrating here, most impressed. Okay, I want to go through each group, okay, give me your results and your average and we'll write them down on the board, okay? Uh, 43.25. 27.5. Our average was 23.3. If we had to go to our Chief of Police and say to them, this is where the body was found, where do we think it might be? D. D, yeah? So do you agree that the body was dumped at location D? Yes, great, thank you. I want you to really give yourselves a round of applause because to get those kind of results under that pressure is just brilliant and for a technique that you've never done before, spot on. So all of you, round of applause for yourselves please, well done. It's been a frenetic hour and a half, so how did Laura fare? I think it re went really well, the kids were really engaged, uh, they were competent doing the experiments, um, they needed a little pushing to actually get them to answer some of the questions, but they clearly knew it. Um, and I felt that it was a good session. I was pleased with it. And I would just say that um, in terms of how, you know, the, the eagerness with the practical, it just shows how much they appreciate having sort of expert help in. Um, I mean, the reluctance with the answering the questions is really because of their age. You know, they're very young students, and so it, it doesn't necessarily reflect their ability as much as their sort of... Uh, how shy they are um, in answering the questions. Mm -hmm. So I think it was very successful. I could have planned the experiment slightly better because we were quite rushed with time. Um, I guess you always forget how long it takes to do these things. But I also think that, um, you know, it was great having Miss Akers in here because we were able to sort of just say, well, you know, let's do this, let's do that, and I'll do that. And we could sort of wing it almost to the sense to make it fit to the time. So, so that worked well as well, but uh, yeah, perhaps next time a little better planning or maybe less talking by, by me um, so that we could get the experiments in. Andy is in yeah. no doubt the success of the Science Clubs depends upon the support from local industry. We couldn't probably offer the variety of courses in science which we do offer without the support of local industry. Um, not only in terms of the initial funding for the specialist status, but also for running visits for all sorts of students and courses that we have going on in school. Um, and I think what we're trying to do through being a science college is to put more conscientious, higher level students back into the community, which will only serve to benefit industry in the long run. I've been really encouraged to, to want to come back and do this sort of thing again. Um, I really enjoyed it, the atmosphere was great, the kids were really engaged and enthusiastic and there were some kids that had a real genuine interest in science and you hope that they're going to take that on and further you know, their, their science career. So it makes you want to keep coming and doing this sort of thing. One hundred and seventy.